Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 with another exhibition match stream. And today we're going to start out with a game between Google Frog and Aquanim on Avalanche. Nothing more to really say about that. I mean, Google Frog and Aquanim, those names should be fairly familiar to people. We're going to just start this off. So, well, once the thing loads, it takes a little while. There we go. So, Google Frog in the southeast side of the map going for light vehicles, while Aquanim in the northwest side of the map is going for heavy tanks. A little bit unusual on this map. This map, due to the fact that it's kind of hilly, generally encourages the use of cloakies. But, well, that's not what we're seeing now. We are actually seeing Google Frog go for, well, seeing vehicles. Vehicles and tanks. Google Frog going out very quickly with slashers. Doesn't want to build too many static defenses that have semi static defenses in the slashers. And then going to go for darts afterwards while Kodachi from Aquinum then followed up pretty regularly by Welder. And probably going to see Panthers after that. Though, given the size of this map, we may just see Kodachis the entire time. I'm not totally sure. But anyway, it is... going to be a pretty intense match. I mean, it is... it's a tiny map. We're starting out with... well, is it Dart? Dart's not going to do too much, although there isn't a whole lot in the way of defenses. Aquanim has no static defenses at the moment, but they do have their commander and their welder. That is going to make a difference. Whereas the Kodachi here, that's the bigger deal, and that is going to be stopped by the Slasher, which... Well, it just gets out of range. The Kodachi does survive, gets... Does not get rid of the Metal Extractor. That will be repaired in time. So it doesn't really do too much damage. Google Frog is required to spend a bit of energy on the repair, though. And if Aquanum is able to maintain the rest of their base, that might actually work out pretty well. Now, Aquanum is going to want to find a better angle to work from. They are going to want to use the Kodachi at some point to actually deal damage. Get rid of the dart first, maybe, and then go from there. Deal with these mechs to the southeast. While Aquanum, on the other hand... Wait, I was talking about Aquanum in the first place, my mistake. Google Frog, on the other hand, is just setting up defenses, just leapfrogging those slashers forward. And gonna try to get rid of the Kodachi. Gonna, Kodachi's gonna go for a slasher kill, which will not... Oh, well, actually, it might work. That forces the slasher back. It will get repaired once again. But it does force it back, and we do see Panthers. There they are. That one Panther coming out, so one Panther, one Kodachi, and Aquan doing a pretty good job keeping that Kodachi alive. Though, against Slashers, that's just a matter of walk in, hit, walk out. But that Slasher, oh man, that Kodachi has to be careful, because the Slasher gets one more hit in. That Kodachi is going to die. That Kodachi goes for another dive, I mean. If it tries to hit that Slasher once again, those two Slashers will kill it. Google Frog has also morphed their commander, got Light Particle Beam, while Aquanim has morphed their commander as well for a Beam Laser. And at this point, Aquanim is slightly ahead. Two more energy, one more metal. They're a bit ahead of Google Frog, but not by much. And Google Frog, where are they expanding to? A little surprised. I kind of expected an expansion earlier. However, that one slasher is going down. Google Frog's commander trying to get rid of the panther there. Does get rid of defender. And where... It, there was a mason built up before, but I don't see it around anywhere. A little surprising that. However, Aquanim is forcing Google Frog back. Not letting Google Frog go in easily. Despite the quick... I mean, the Ravager is an interesting choice. Given the fast units that Aquanim is point, pulling out, I don't know why I'd go for it, but... Or why that Aquanim wouldn't want to just keep going for what they're going for. The Ravager is probably going to miss the Panthers. However, that does get... Well, that's quite a lot, though. It's in Aquanim's territory, but a lot of units have gone down. Aquanim can reclaim them pretty easily. That's about 400 metal worth of reclaim. And Google Frog's commander is taking a fair amount of damage, too, but those Aquanims... Aquanim's Panther's the only thing... There we go! The only thing keeping Aquanim alive was that Panther. But they did get rid of Google Frog's commander, and now this territory belongs to Aquanim. And Google Frog is down 8 and 4. 8 metal, 4 energy per second. Compared to Aquanim's 13 and 11. This is huge. Aquanim getting off to an extremely good start here. The Ravager's coming in. That commander needs to go back. It is very heavily damaged. It needs to get out of there. Don't even get close. Just go right to the back lines. Put a few Panthers up front to try to stop these Ravagers from coming in here and get another Welder. And get that Welder to kill your Commander, because this is where the Commander dies! It'll be like two more shots, that Commander is going to go down this Ravager. There we go, gets rid of the Commander. That was unfortunate. Getting rid of basically Aquanim's entire advantage, and now Google Frog and Aquanim are even once again. And actually, Aquanim apparently is not reclaiming while Google Frog has been. Or, no, no, sorry, not reclaiming. Google Frog going for wind generation, and with that overdrive. Well, Aquanim unfortunately loses the advantage they have. That was huge. That was a big loss. Really would have been nice for Aquanim to have not lost that commander. Let's just pull it back, keep the Panthers up front, stop the Ravagers from coming through, 
get another welder, which is just now being built. And I realize welders are fairly expensive. But even then, pull this welder back, maybe. That was a huge blow. And Aquanim, however, still has the initiative. They can still push in. They don't have as much energy income, though, and they need that. They need a lot. They need this welder right away. They need the energy. They have nothing in reserve. This, actually, this welder right here needs to start, yeah, reclaiming energy. There you go. Avalanche being the map it is, at least energy reclaim is a possibility that Aquanim can take advantage of. And now Google Frog has no more wind working for them, so Aquanim now has another chance. Google Frog having gone for the Harsh Mistress, that is wind. Now giving Aquanim a bit of a chance to get back in. Well, at least in these in inopportune times, but this is no longer an inopportune time. The wind is picking up again. Google Frog once again getting their energy advantage, and Aquanim on the other hand... Still way down in energy. This welder is now inactive. Why is that inactive? That needs to continue reclaiming. More reclaim needs to happen. More static energy structures need to be built. And then from there we can reclaim this center. But that is not working out well, unfortunately. Google Frog continuing to build slashers. Keeping the units alive. Forcing the Panthers back. And unfortunately against those slashers, the only real answer is going to be a Reaper. Which is being built right now. But that is going to take a while to be built. It's going to take another minute and a half. Ouch. And that's with the reclaim. That's with the energy being boosted by the trees. And really, this welder should be building up more solar collectors. 7.5 metal per second. Not much weaker than a commander when it comes to constructing things. But yeah, it needs to get more solar collectors. And this welder is doing a pretty good job just reclaiming, getting the energy to keep the base building going. But that's not going to work out for very long. And the welder continuing to spend more energy on the repairs here. That is... Not what you want to spend it on. That Reaper needs to exist pretty soon. The Panther will be able to stop that Ravager pretty well, but then the Slasher's coming in here. Google Frog is just pushing in, and I think this is pushing in for a kill. This is definitely pushing in for a kill. There's not going to be an easy way out of this. Aquanim does just lose all of this, unfortunately, for Aquanim. Yeah, that is going to be probably game. We'll see. Aquanim is pushing pretty hard, though. Getting rid of these slashers, actually doing a pretty good job getting rid of these slashers, but now ah, one of the panthers does get destroyed, and that stuns out another panther. And yet another panther about to go down, there goes another panther, and that stuns out one further panther, and down stuns out the rest of them. Slasher, however, line of sight blocked by the Ravager, but still. Not too hard to get rid of that last panther, and that's it. Aquanim GG's, and that is game. Bit of a short game, hope you enjoyed that. I will have another longer game, another couple games that are actually going to be very water-focused. Slightly unusual stream today is going to be focused on water, a couple in Colta games. But we will see how those go, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a minute.